What is the common denominator of failure? Why are you failing? You never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. It's the economy. It's the president. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me, the decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. You must be very intentional and deliberate. You're not going to wake up one day and find a law degree. You're going to have to work for it. And your problem is you wake up on Monday and you might be strong. But by Wednesday, you're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes oh, the good stuff is going to happen to you. I don't want you to keep doing dumb stuff and say, my life is miserable. No, your life is not miserable. Your ability to make adjustments, to make corrections is messed up. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. It's a choice. You just have to wake up. You just have to break through. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. We don't get this again. We don't get this again. The car runs too fast. That's why we got to savor these moments. Because they right now. Take advantage of today. Tomorrow might not exist. Tomorrow, yes, if it comes, great. If tomorrow comes, it's a gift. What we have is a blessing of today. But today happens. They print money. They don't print time. They don't print opportunities. You can lose money and get it back. You can't get time back. You can't get experiences back. Average people focus on money. The greats focus on time because I can't get my time back. And you're too slow. You're too casual. You think too much. You need to get in a hurry. The separator is going to be who takes massive action quickly. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. One action will be sitting on the fucking couch. Stagnant. You put your body in motion. You will remain in motion. Your mind's in motion. Everything's in motion. And when everything's in motion, what happens? You give birth to new opportunities. You keep negotiating the price you're paying. Man, all the work I'm putting in, it's not paying off. I don't see my family as much. I got to do all this. You start negotiating it all the time, and it's sapping all your damn energy. Successful people don't negotiate price. They negotiate worth. Could this be worth it to me to pay this? And once you decide it's worth it to win, it's worth it to be somebody, the negotiation stops. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category.